water will boil in. So, I'm just going to get a fork, turn off the heat, move this off of the heat. You can see the water is boiling. I don't know if you can see it or not. Stir in the mashed potatoes. Make sure that they're good and stirred in, mixed in well. And once we get them stirred in, all we do is cut them and leave them alone. Get them out of the way. All right. Now, uh, the corn. Easy peasy. Corn I drain. And it's already sweet corn, so a lot of times I'll butter it. Some people like to pepper it. Um, I just like it the way it is. So I'm going to just cover that. Put that on a, a low medium. Uh, and now we'll get ready for the gravy. So, gravy, instructions, two cups of cold water. So we're going to get two cups of cold water. We're going to put it in this skillet. And there's one cup and two cups. They say to make it in a saucepan or something, but you know what? You can make it on a skillet just as easy, doesn't hurt a thing. And like I said, that way I can use my uh, my goodies. So we turn the heat on. We're going to turn the heat on high. And we're going to stir the gravy mix into the water. Make sure you get stirred in real good. You don't have to be in any kind of hurry because you want it to break down. So. Take your time. I'm sorry that I'm scraping the pan with my whisk. If that's bothering any of you, I apologize for that. I'll probably go buy a, They've got those non-metal whisks. Um, so I'll probably end up buying one of those. is as this water gets hot it's going to do two things it's going to release the leftover uh, uh, leftovers from the pork chops what I call the goodies like I said um, and it thickens as it gets hot you can see it's already thickening up quite a bit so I'm going to reduce the heat quite a bit um, Turn it down to a low, to almost a simmer. Make sure my corn's turned up high enough. I might turn it up a little bit. This gravy came together really quickly. But you can see how thick that's already getting. The one thing about gravy is you have to stir it constantly. If you don't, uh, it'll ruin it. But you know. This meal is so easy to make that really <laughs> you got nothing but time on your hands to do this, so it's no big deal. Uh, the other pork chop I had, uh, I froze it. Put it in the put it in a ziploc. Take all the air out of the ziploc, or as much as you can get out, and freeze it. Um, and then I'll just get it out, run water over it, <clears throat> thaw it out, maybe have it with breakfast or something here in a few days. I've got, I bought some, 
Oh, and the other thing about gravy is, you know, I could make homemade gravy. It's basically really simple. You take flour and some Crisco, put it in the pan, uh, and basically turn it into like a paste. And after you turn it, it doesn't take very much. Maybe, I mean, shoot, not even, probably half the size of a golf ball. Um, and then you start stirring milk in with it, and that's how you make homemade country gravy. Pretty simple, but... You know, for people that doesn't, I'm doing this for people that aren't used to cooking, so uh, I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. Um, so, that gravy's mixed up and thick, thickened up really nicely, so guess what I'm going to do now? Huzzah, you ready for this? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. let that set for a minute. <clears throat> it's on simmer, low as I can go. Got the heat up on the corn just a little bit. Mashed potatoes are sitting over there doing their thing. I'm going to leave those alone. I can hear the sizzle from the corn so it's heating up nicely. Yeah, I know. I should just stir it but I'm lazy. You know what, it's got to be washed anyway, so uh, who cares if we make a little bit of a mess doing it. Anyway, so I'm going to let this set for just a second. Um, let the potatoes rest for another couple, three minutes. Let the corn finish heating up. Let the pork chop heat back up in the gravy. And then we'll serve it up. Alright, here we go. So let's play the first thing we need to do is take the mashed potatoes and fluff them up a little bit. Give them a final stir. This looks great. Absolutely. Alright, so get a couple of spoons. One, two, that'll work fine. And oh look at that. Look at that. Alright, so let's get this pork chop out of here. Get gravied up real good. Looks amazing. And then we're gonna get some of these mashed potatoes. Cover those up, make some more potato cakes out of those. Because I love potato cakes. And corn. What oh, smells good? Mm -mm. Oh, doggy just ran into the camera. Sorry about that. Puppies back up. Alright. That, there's that. Now for the fun part. Give this gravy a bit of a stir. I had somebody saw a picture of some of my food <laughs> and they commented, Why does your gravy look like that? It's funny. Well, you see what I did, it did change the color of the gravy, normal white country gravy, but because I uh, used the pork chop juices, it turned it to a bit of a tannish color. If she had just watched the video instead of commenting on the picture, she would have realized that, but you know, whatever. So, now I'm just going to make bread and butter, but um, that's insane. That's that's the that's the thing right there. That is filling. It's hot, delicious. Um, I'm gonna go eat. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Stay safe. Stay away from everybody. Stay home as much as you can. Wash your hands a lot, please. Um, and we'll all get through this, okay? Peace.